YouTube and you do it yourselfers, I am going to be doing a water pump, timing belt, the pulleys, and the belt tensioner on a 1993 Subaru Impreza L. This is what I'm going to be using as a replacement. I got this at Advanced Auto Parts and it's a Deco brand. So prior to doing this water pump and timing belt replacement, I have a aftermarket Mishimoto radiator and the parent mounts. Pretty much go under the radiator and just start draining the fluids first. And the plug is going to be right there for the Mishimoto radiator. And then while you're draining it out, you can go ahead and take out the mounts while it's draining. Now that the mounts are off, I actually have a custom fan shroud and as you can see, there's barely any room for me to actually pull it out. But the next thing you can do is actually just loosen up these clamps, pull out the upper radiator hose. Next stop, you want to take your coolant reservoir out. And mine is just a custom bracket that I just bent a piece of metal to make sure it's in the factory position. Now that the coolant reservoir is out of the way, you can go ahead and attend to the lower radiator hose. So the radiator is still dripping down a little bit, but what I like to do here is I like to just take it from the actual thermostat housing and there will also be residual radiator fluids coming out so make sure you grab your bucket and put it underneath now that I got the thermostat housing off what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pull out the the other clamp on the bottom part of the radiator that way the radiator will be able to so that the radiator is ready to come out make sure before you pull it out there's a plug right there where my finger's pointing at. And there's also a plug on this car. Plug is right there. Now that the radiator's out, you can go ahead and tend to these bolts to take out the cover for the, the belts. So now that the fan belt covers off, you want to go ahead and loosen up this bolt right here. And then that way the alternator will be able to slide down when you loosen or tighten this bolt right here. Just loose enough for you to take off the belt. Now that the belt's off of the alternator, power steering, and crank pulley, you can now go ahead and loosen up this bolt right here, and then loosen up this bolt to release the tension off of the belt, off of the AC, and the crank pulley. You're going to also have to take out these three bolts right here for the belt tensioner to come out. Belt tensioner pulley is loose. You can go ahead and take it off of the crank. Huh. The belt's off. You can go ahead and do these three bolts right there to take out the belt tensioner. Now that the belt tensioner for the AC compressor and the crank pulley is off, you can now take out the bolt of the crank pulley. Just like this. Then what I'm going to do is crank the engine enough to loosen up the bolt. Now that the bolt is out, it's time to take the crank pulley off. Now that the pulley's off, as you can see, the timing belt cover slightly damaged right here. I could put my finger through here, but there are an assortment of bolts all over the cover. So you can go ahead and take those out. Okay, now that the timing cover is off, You'll notice that I put the bolt back to the crank pulley and the torque wrench. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tighten this bolt down snug and I'm going to turn the crank shaft because you, there are markings on the camshaft pulley 
where it has a markup right here in this plastic part. This is pretty much top dead center. And you want to make sure that both of them are at the same line. Okay, notice how the timing cover is off. So what I did was I put the crank bolt back to the crank pulley. And uh, what I did was I grabbed the torque wrench and turned it. And you want to make sure that you see these white markings. They need to line up with this line right here. And then this is the middle part of the engine, the crankshaft. Line it up right there with this line. And line the other one with this line. Then that's when you know you're at top dead center. I figured the best way to go about actually taking off the timing belt is to actually loosen up the bottom pulley right here. Then the belt will just loosen up and you could just pull everything apart. Okay, now that the bottom pulley is gone, the next pulley you want to pull out is this pulley right here, which is con which is next to the tensioner. Got a little carried away, but as you can see, I got the bottom pulley out. And then now I already gotten this loose, you pull this one out. With the tensioner pulled out, you could literally just slide off the timing belt. Make sure before you do that, all your uh, timing marks are all still aligned. So that small section of the other pulley out of adjustment, this one is actually kind of loose, but just make sure it's lined up and hopefully everything's okay pretty much the next pulleys will be this one right here which is already loosened up and then the other one is this one right here it's pretty much loosened up already now let's loosen up two bolts for the tensioner now that the belt tensioner is removed there are an assortment of bolts around the water pump and you can address those and there is a hose right here that you're gonna have to use a pliers to clamp down and remove the water pump is now removed and here's the new one to the old one this is what it looks like installed so this kit also comes with a new belt tensioner right here and another pulley that's attached to it next step it'll be this pulley right here this pulley installed, now for the sprocket right there. Sprocket installed, everything is just nice and snug, it's not torqued down the specs yet. At this point you can install the timing belt carefully. What I did was I grabbed some vice grips and lightly clamped where the lines of the timing belt is. Right there. And uh, what I did was I did the left side first because this left side, the cam moves a little bit. This side right here, it moves, but you don't want to move it. And uh, now I'm just going to um, put the uh, the belt tensioner right here. Well, this is the tensioner right here, but I'm going to be putting the pulley right here. Now the tensioner pulley's on. This pin right here, let me zoom in a little bit. There's a pin right here. You want to pull that out last when you install the lower pulley right under here. So this is torqued down to 30 foot pounds, 30 foot pounds, 30 foot pounds. It says with all data, it's 26 to 32 foot pounds. So, so the bottom pulley is installed. Now at this point you could unclamp unclamp your clamps your vice grips and then you have that pin that's right there you can pull that out make sure everything's lined up and at that point you're gonna pull this pin and then what we're gonna do is grab your torque wrench and turn the motor like one or two or three times uh, the timing marks are not gonna line up but just make sure the cam sprockets marking they all line up with the 
block of the motor.